to join me in this tutorial about why you should mow short before starting a lawn renovation or an overseed. Before we can do that, I'm going to need to mow first. Stick around and I'll tell you why exactly it is best practice to mow short. Got it all done and it looks ten times better. Now, you necessarily don't need to mow short for this step and I haven't really mowed short yet. I have it on the highest setting. I'm, I'll lower it down basically with these settings. The main reason you want to mow low is to help you better distinguish problem areas like there's a low spot right here got some roots sticking up that I'll need to watch out for when I'm mowing super short but just help distinguish those problem areas and it'll also help out when you're dethatching you won't have as much grass to try to rip that right through which I've done and it's uh, pretty strenuous. Now exactly why you would want to mow short when you're overseeding is to stunt the growth of the grass and give your seedlings a chance to grow and not compete for rain, sun, and nutrients with the existing grass. One thing that I better mention is that if you're going to mow short to uh, do a renovation be prepared to have some brown yard that looks pretty hideous for a couple months because yeah I mean <laughs> wow I, I didn't think it was gonna actually look this bad but you know there is a huge difference between that and that but I can guarantee you in the long run in the fall when this comes back after I do some overseeding and a whole bunch of fertilizer, it's gonna look 10 times better. Hey, 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 just a little bit of an update. So far I got basically this tree all the way out to the boulevard done. And I mean, I got a lot of grass. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but there is definitely a huge improvement and it's going to help uh, seed the soil contact tremendously. Not to mention that all the grass seed when I lay it down in the fall will actually be able to hold the moisture and just instead of getting soaked up into the sponge like material. Now, after this is getting done dethatched or whatever, I'm going to get out my dirt booster lay that down let that soak in and then right around August I am gonna be laying down my seed well finally the most labor-intensive part is done now I gotta just bag all this stuff up I was able to get all those grass clippings picked up and uh, put into bags these things will make a perfect addition to my compost pile. Now it's time to lay down the dirt booster. All right, on to the dirt booster. I'll roughly lay about half this bag down. And if you remember last time, I had this thing turned up to about four and a half to five, thinking that that would be perfect. And I ended up spreading about three quarters of a 20 pound bag over roughly 2,500 square feet. And this whole bag 
should be able to cover about 5,000 square feet. So turn the number down a little bit to three. That should help me out tremendously. I use about half this bag and then wait about three weeks and lay the other half down. Now that I got all the dirt booster laid down, it's time to water it in. Finally getting it watered in. This long process is finally over with. If you would like to follow me on my journey to overseeding, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and get alerted whenever I upload new content. As always, have a good day. This is Cubs Life signing out. Have a good one.